It's the old bear from the old bear's den of Bigfoot. And on this fine, wonderful afternoon here in the great state of West Virginia, I decided I was going to bring you another account. Now, this one's a little bit uh, involved. Um, this is an account that a gentleman... Uh, has called me about and well it's not a good account it, it's it doesn't end well evidently uh the gentleman that i spoke to he is over top of he's part of a certain government uh alphabet and, you know, the alphabet agencies. And his job is to deal with uh, certain creatures that cause trouble for human beings. And he called me, I spoke to him a long time ago, and... Uh, He's been telling me a little bit of some inside information. That's the reason I knew that I was on a list for some reason for knowing about Bigfoot. Which I don't really care because it doesn't bother me in any way, shape, or form. I don't care who knows. Um, it's not a big deal to me. Anyways... He called me and was telling me about this, and I told him, I said, well, I'm going to probably put that on my channel, and he said, I'll give it a few weeks before you do that. So I followed what he asked. That's the reason it's been a couple of weeks that, uh, I, you know, it's been a little while since I posted anything. I've been dealing with some uh, <sighs> stuff at work. A lot of work and dealing with uh, some stuff at, uh, you know, uh, in the Bigfoot community, I guess you'd call it, would call it. Most people do. I don't know why, because it's not a community. Uh, most people think that in, in the community, air quotes, both ends, um, that they are experts and they're not. The only thing you're an expert at is how to get yourself out of bed and drink a cup of coffee and eat your food. That's the only thing you're an expert at. Uh, when it comes to these creatures, um, I speak in generalizations because not all of them are the same. There are Bigfoot out there that are docile they don't want nothing to do with humans they uh they, you know they may come to your home or something of that nature and, and and sit back and watch you from a distance then you got ones that'll come to your house and look in your windows and so on and so forth and then you get all the way up to the ones where we're going to that uh are very bad, 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 bad. They make Hannibal Lecter look like a um look like a Girl Scout, and uh, 
This one in his makes Hannibal Lecter look like a Girl Scout. Um, anyways, in this account, evidently there was a Bigfoot that was wreaking havoc. And wreaking havoc, I mean by killing anything it came in contact with. Uh, it had harmed a couple of people. It didn't kill them. Uh, and the only reason they didn't die was because they had firearms, which got this thing to leave them alone, but broken leg, uh, busted ribs. Let's see, what else was there? A concussion and some other, you know, nicks and cuts and scrapes and bruises all over this man's body. And thank God his friends were close by and heard him scream the first time and got there quickly uh, and started shooting this thing. Anyway... This team that this person is over goes in to get this creature, this Bigfoot, this Bigfoot that evidently hates people and hates everything else in the world. Um, they were tracking this thing, and this thing was moving, and it was nighttime. Well, the problem is it goes into a national forest and it goes through a national forest campground. Luckily, there wasn't a lot of campers there. Uh, to the account that I was given, there was two sites that were being used that were close by uh, each other. And this thing went into a campsite well, this older couple had their grandchildren with them. Now, this happened uh, the 1st of August. Or no, actually, it's been longer than that. It's been back in July That's uh, when this happened. And I looked and looked and looked in the state that this happened, and I couldn't find a thing. Couldn't find a write-up, nothing. So I started calling some friends and was told to leave this one alone, don't get involved, stay out of it, that it was bad. So I'm bringing it to y'all. Now what happened was this team that went in to deal with this creature, evidently this thing smelt them, knew they was there some way, shape, or form, and was staying ahead of them. And it went into that campground. And the older couple that had their grandchildren there, um, they heard something running in the woods towards them. While they were sitting outside, they grabbed up their grandchildren. Uh, the moment their, their grandchildren were in the camper, and... The grandmother ran into the camper because she heard it and it scared the daylights out of her because it was running towards her. Uh, Grandpa was outside. Well, in some national forests, you're not allowed to have a firearm, which I don't understand that, but, you know, whatever. I'm not going to argue the point with that. But the thing of it is, this thing come busting out of the woods, and the gentleman, the older gentleman, was standing near the door. And he ran over and uh, the door was open. The wife had left it open and because she was hollering at him to get inside. And this thing come over and, well... He got inside just in time, and he had a firearm inside of the camper. Now, he wasn't supposed to be having one, but, you know, it's better to be safe than sorry in this world, uh, or your life ends quickly. So this thing comes over and starts beating on the side of the camper, and it's beating on it pretty bad. It breaks the window, uh, 
disjoints the wall from the camper. Um, by that, I mean it, it, it pounded part of the wall inward. And when that happened, the gentleman started laying lead through the side of the camper at this thing. And evidently, he may have hit it because it screamed in pain and it ran off. Well, the bad part is coming. This thing evidently ran through the campground, uh, which there wasn't hardly anyone there, except for another younger couple. And by younger, I mean 20s. Early, early 20s. 21, 22. Well, it ran smack dab into this these kids' uh, campsite. And evidently they were um, fooling around, half-dressed, on the picnic table that was in the campground, at the campsite. Had a fire built, everything, had a lantern, all that stuff. Lights, no firearms. Um, this thing just runs up, grabs the guy, and picks him up and slings him around a tree, breaking his back. And the woman is screaming at the top of her lungs. Now, when the grandpa heard her screaming, they were already put their grandchildren and the grandmother had already got in the car. He was in the car and he had started the car and they were leaving when he heard the scream. So at that point, Grandpa's priority was to get his wife and grandchildren, which he had four grandchildren with him, and get them out of there. And I understand that. His job is not to go over and protect someone else. His job is to take care of his grandbabies, which if it was me, I would have sent my wife in the vehicle with the grandchildren and told her, don't look back, don't think about it, just drive. Protect them, don't worry about me. But this gentleman was in his 60s, uh, later 60s, and his grandchildren ranged from, you know, they were all pretty close to being, they were teenagers down to being just under teenager stage. So back to the younger couple. Evidently, this creature... Um, decided that the man was no threat anymore. Now, mind you, this thing's got a kill team on its tail. And for some reason, this creature decides that it's going to do things to the woman that shouldn't be done to a woman. Um... I understand uh, us humans have weird tastes in that area. But this creature was being overly rough with this woman. And she was screaming in pain and uh, fear. This thing was... Um, Seven and a half feet tall, three and a half, four foot across the shoulders. Now, this is what, uh, actually, they said it was 39 and a half inches across the shoulders. Arms were 18, 19 inches thick at the biceps. Uh, forearms, 16 inches thick. Now, that makes me look like a kid. And 
whenever they uh, this team caught up to them because they weren't far behind it. Uh, it never ran from them. It was just leading them on a to where I guess it thought it it could take care of this team because there was uh, six or eight of them. Now their this team shows up and they don't know that there's a woman in front of this thing. And it's making gyrations, and it's already harmed one human being, and they spot the guy on the ground. So now it's harmed two people. Uh, they open up on this creature, firing a total of, according to the report that I saw, 168 rounds. So somebody was dropping clips and pulling trigger. They put a lot of firepower in this thing. Finally, this thing just starts, stops messing with this. I mean, when they started shooting, this thing stopped messing with the woman and turned to face them and started walking at them while they were shooting it. That takes guts. I give that that to it. It had guts. Intestinal fortitude. And by the time they put the last round in this thing, they were shooting shoulders, arms, chest, stomach, thighs. And it didn't stop. Till somebody had enough sense to start putting rounds in the head. Remember I told y'all before, you break that cerebral cortex, you destroy the brain, the body stops. That does not mean it will make it to you. That means it definitely is not going to make it to you and harm you. So they kill this thing. They go over to render aid to the to the guy. And evidently his back and everything else was broken. And this thing had stepped squarely on his chest, killing him. The woman, uh, they got to the hospital, and of course they cleaned this thing up, and somebody got a new camper out of it <coughs> to keep them quiet, and they were forced to sign a no disclosure, a non-disclosure, and... They're not allowed to talk about it or else consequences come on them and that's not that's not right. That's not right for that family, so I understand them not talking about it. But they took this creature out and found that this creature had a broken wrist. They speculate that because of the broken wrist they don't know how it got it. It looked like it had been a, um, not a twist, but something had hit it, its wrist and broke it. And being in that amount of pain, I, they, they speculate that's the reason that it went rogue. Um, but the lady that was attacked, she was... Um, she didn't make it either. This thing had done things to this woman that shouldn't be done. Uh, she survived three days. And um, they, they were told that it was a bear attack on the man and a woman. And the coroner definitely faked his report so I suggest if you decide to go out in the woods 
Now it's almost fall here. Uh, squirrel season is starting. Bow season will start very soon here. And everybody will be out hunting. I suggest if you're bow hunting, make sure you carry a good sized pistol with you that will do some damage. Don't play around with these things. Uh, if you see one, do yourself a favor. Just walk away. Turn around and go back the way you came and leave it alone. Uh, if it walks up to you and touches you while you're in a tree stand, don't turn into a quivering mess. You can wait until it's gone to do that. Don't show fear. Just tell it to leave you alone and go away. So be careful out there. I'd like to have all you viewers come back for the next video. And the next video, well, it's going to be another one that ain't very good. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you take it to heart and listen to what I just told you. And I hope that it scares the daylights out of a lot of you, and you listen to what I said. Be careful where you're at. Be mindful of your surroundings. And if you see one, don't tick it off. Don't start shooting at it. Don't injure it because it's going to take that anger and that pain out on you. Um, unless you're a good shot, you don't have a stand. You don't have a, a snowball's chance in H-E double hockey sticks. So be careful out there, my friends. May each and every one of you be blessed by God each and every day of your life. We love you all, and we thank you. And if you got comments or questions, leave them in the comment section. Thank you now. Bye-bye. Old Bear out.